Hi guys and welcome to the Mechanical Timepiece. Welcome if it's your first time here, my name is Rob and today we're going to be looking at the Christopher Ward C60 Trident Chronograph Pro 600. A name that just rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? This is my third Christopher Ward watch. Uh, unfortunately, the first two I owned uh, are no longer with me, uh, not through my choice. They were uh, liberated from me, shall we say, um, out of the back of my car one day, which was um, uh, really, really welcomed, right? So, um, yeah, so we're going to be talking about this one today. This is the earlier version of the Pro 600 chronograph. There is a newer version of this one out. This one has the Eta Value 7750. The newer one has a slightly different movement in it. One I would love to get my hands on and do a side-by-side -side comparison. Christopher Ward, if you're listening, please contact me. I would love to do a side-by-side -side review. Get, get both of them on the wrist and see how they look. Um, the the format of the uh, the review today is going to follow a three-stage process. We're going to go through the facts, figures, stats, etc. for that for that for this particular watch, the sizes and so on and so forth. Then we're going to go through what I call the good, the bad, and the ugly. So the good will be uh, parts of the watch and features of the watch that I think are positive and I like. The bad are things I'm not so keen on about the watch, but are no fault of the watch. Um, they're just design features within that watch. The third one uh, is the ugly, which is good old fashioned QC issues. Yeah, and yes, there are a few, surprisingly enough. Um, part of that, we'll come back, have a, have, have a little review and a conclusion, and then we'll go from there. As always, guys, please, if it's your first time here and you like the video and you like the way I've done it, please like it, subscribe, get the thumbs up. It really does help. I'm trying to build the channel and get some and get some support and get more reviews out there for you to enjoy. So without further ado, let's get off the wrist under the lights. Okay, so we'll start with the uh, the, the dimensions and weights, etc. We have a we have a forty three point eight uh, millimeter diameter, forward go, extending out to forty seven point one, with the crown included. We have a depth of seventeen point five millimeters. It's a deep watch, this one, with a lug to lug of fifty one point three. Twenty two millimeter strap tapering down to 20 millimeters at the clasp. Weight on this weight of this watch on this supplied strap, 154 grams. Features of the watch, it is a 316L stainless steel watch. Uh, the movement's an ETA value 7750, Ebelor grade movement, although the back is stamped, etc., uh, closed off so you couldn't, you won't know if it's an Ebelor grade or otherwise. You have to take their word for it. 25 dual hacking and hand wind movement 48 hour power reserve running at 28,800. This one uh, stated accuracy plus or minus 15 seconds per day. This one I've had on a time grapher and it's running about two seconds under per day so not bad. Um, 600 meters water resistance uh, it's a deep it's a, it's a deep uh, deep water diver. Uh, nice big bit of flat uh, sapphire crystal in a 3.4 millimeter thick sapphire crystal with a nice, with a nice be beveled edge there. You can see that edge on the glass just there. And super luminova throughout the hands, indices, and the numbering on the ceramic bezel. 120 quick, 120 click ceramic unidirectional bezel, as you, as you would expect on this type of diver. It's quite a nice positive one. Let's see if I can get the, uh, the audio in there. Needs a bit of a shove, needs a bit of a prod to get this one to turn around, but it will go. But it's quite reassuring in the, in the fact that it's not going to go any way that it shouldn't. Um, printed minute track around the printed minute track around the edge, and sub dials for uh, minute and hours for the chronograph movement. I'll see the second hand is that yellow one there. The second hand, the second hand itself is this sort of trident breathing ape apparatus here. I'll talk about that a little bit later on in the good, bad, and ugly. Uh, the case itself, it's brushed down the sides. Uh, you can see the helium escape valve just there. It's brushed down the side longitudinally. There is a polished sort of beveled edge across the top there. Apologies, it is it is scratched up. This one, uh, it's not in the it's not in the best of condition. This one, I have been wearing this one mostly most days for about a year now. So. It's is, uh, this one is real world used. Um, a, deep a nice deep stamped logo there on the, uh, on the crown. And then the screw in 
pushes for the chronograph movement. The back is a nice deep etched stamped screw down case back. Christopher Ward Trident Pro 600 and then obviously the usual Swiss made serial number uh, stainless steel 60 atmospheres stamped on the back. Dial itself just going to get this out of the uh, try and keep this out of the uh, reflection of the lights there uh, is a sort of a deep blue sunburst dial with a guilloche wave pattern across the center the minute in the minute uh, and hour configuration of the chronograph have a sort of uh, yellowy orange looks like an aluminium track around the outside of them it's a nice it's a nice feature actually um, looks quite nice quite eye-catching um, the hour and minute hands are our onion and sword configuration as you would expect quite typical of Christopher Ward most of their watches uh, the dive watches use these same hands um, quite heavily loomed actually there's quite a lot of loom on those hands there um, little thick I think for my liking but I think it's I think they I think they suit the, 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 the watch quite well um, <coughs> printed dial Christopher Ward on the right hand side there Swiss made at the bottom as you would expect and then on that piece there it does say automatic chronograph 600 meters date window at six o'clock good place for the date window I think on this particular watch it kind of disappears and it disappears into the bevel into the into the bezel uh, into, into the face apologies and then you know you know it's there if you need it it doesn't but it doesn't jump out at you too much uh, and then the second hand counter for the chronograph movement is there with a trident counterbalance on the end of it there. Strap on this particular one is a, a sort of a blue is a blue cordura double edged one, a double sided one. It's the first, it's the only one I've seen with these. It's a Christopher Ward. Seems to be a bit of a Christopher Ward signature strap. It's cordura on one side and then rubber backed on the back of it. Um, this side has the Christopher Ward logo stamped in there. Um, it's comfortable. Uh, it's flexible. It's you know it's a nice it's a nice strap for, on the um, for this particular watch. <coughs> it's pretty good. Um, I think it's a bit thin for this particular watch. Um, it's a quick release pin, so it's nice and easy to swap out. I do have a bracelet for this particular unit as well, although it is quite heavily scratched up. So um, hence this and this was the one that was supplied onto it. So. <clears throat> that's why I wanted to keep it on. Um, ceramic bezel insert there uh, in, the, in the same sort of blue, quite heavily loomed as well. Nice finish, like a metallic -y type finish to it. And then obviously these are the, uh, the controls for the chronograph. They are quite fiddly to unscrew, but they are quite tight, these ones you can see. You, to, you do have to give them a bit of a twist, but that's what you'd hope of a 600 meter diver anyway. So let's get that one running away there. And we're off. So while I, while I leave that running, let's talk about um, good, bad, and ugly. So features of this watch I do like. It's a solid, well-made Swiss automatic watch. It's good value for what it is. 600 meter diver. It's got some interesting features to it. It's got a good, proven, well-known movement inside it. Um, and yeah, it's a de it's it's a, a deliberate, purposeful unit. You know you've got it on your wrist, um, and it's been well screwed together. The packaging and and Everything you get from Christopher Ward is always very, very good. Um, the 60 month warranty that it comes with um, is, is excellent, um, is very, very good. I don't know of any other watches of this type or this kind of price bracket where you get a five year warranty with them. It's very, very good indeed. Uh, so that's all, you know, good things I like. The ceramic bezel's nice finish. It's a nice feel, it's a nice package generally. Um, bad things are aspects of the watch that are not the watch's fault. I just don't particularly like them. Um, predominantly, the main one of which I don't like this regulator breathing second hand. You can see it turning there. The reason for which I don't like it, um, you are unable to set the time exactly. Although the wind, the mechanism does hack, you don't know where the second is in the hour, in the minute. So um, it's impossible to set it exactly, which is very frustrating. Um, other than that, the um, the lugs here, when you have this type of strap on, you can see there, you see the lugs extending past the end of the strap. They do dig in a bit. 
they are quite sharp those ones so you do have to have a decent strap on it hence one of the reasons why i took this one off um other things are, uh, one other thing is a little bit annoying about this watch is you do with this movement in hand you do get the infamous valgi wobble um for those who are unaware it's where the, this particular movement only charges the watch winds the watch in one when the rotor spins in one direction the other the other way it can just spin freely and because of it's a quite a heavy rotor on this the, the watch will wobble um <coughs> on your wrist and it is quite noticeable so that can be a little bit frustrating and then on to ugly so ugly is qc issues and general issues with the watch um i don't know if you can see this one but at the top of the bezel there just above the loom pip there's a flat spot on the bezel edge you can see it just there it's it's not particularly prominent but once you've noticed it you can't really unnotice it it looks like the the what the bezel was dropped or something at some point i've never dropped it um it's been like it since i got it so it's just one of those features uh other when here is there is a little bit of back play in the bezel so let's try and catch this on the camera you can see the pit moving backwards and forwards there it also the best little bit loose it will move up and down a bit as well if you're not careful <coughs> so i think the bezel could have been put on applied a little bit better than it has been um other than that it's 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 not too bad the 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 bezel uh, triangle at the top and the top indices and the second hand for the chronograph don't align uh, you'll see this in a second if i stop this now and then just fly this back you can see there it are all they are slightly out of line which is a little bit frustrating because not what you'd expect on a watch with swiss made stamped on the bottom of it but is it the most is it the biggest problem in the world not really um doesn't make a difference to my everyday life it's just a little bit frustrating um but yeah other than that it's a great watch um and i'm very very pleased with it so uh, there you are thanks very much so there you have it the christopher ward c60 trident pro chronograph 600 i think that's right um a great rewatch um great value for money great diver big hefty thing you know you're wearing it not without its flaws good bad and the ugly um i hope you enjoyed the review if you like what you've said if you like what you've seen thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one thanks very much